We have earlier in September reported that Tesla is going to use 8 Giga presses at Giga Berlin, revolutionizing the Tesla Model Y and Model 3 production. Now we're learning that first parts of the Giga press casting machines have arrived to Giga Berlin. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and electric vehicle news and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. Tobias Lind, who regularly reports Tesla news from Tesla Giga Berlin, flying his drones with our other local friends, is reporting yesterday that first parts of the Giga Press casting machines are arriving at Giga Berlin. You're seeing segments from Tobias's video um, that he shows that how the first parts are coming um, of this uh, Italian Japanese made Giga presses are coming to Giga Berlin and uh, that they're being unloaded from cars. Uh, this this is a major step in Giga Factory's uh, uh, advanced friends because uh, Tesla has reported that it's replacing eight um, uh, hundreds of KUKA robotic arms in favor of Giga uh, 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 die casting machines. Tesla documents uh, earlier in September showed that the uh, electric vehicle maker wants to revolutionize its electric vehicle making at Giga Berlin uh, by using by using eight huge Giga presses, hundred ton each, for the production of its uh, Model Y and Model Three electric vehicles. This is much bigger and many times more than those Giga presses used at Fremont and Giga Shanghai. Apparently, these are new ones, and now we're seeing reports that they're already coming as seen in this video. Last. Um, Actually, in September, Tesla CEO Elon Musk once said that um, Musk was in a good mood when he was at Giga Berlin. Remember his visit to Giga Berlin? He quickly turned to Sauber as noted Tesla by Tesla Mac and explained why he was in a big hurry to complete the Giga Berlin and explained that huge technological revolution that Tesla is applying to Giga Berlin with eight Giga presses casting machines, each being 100 tons. That's heavy. That's huge. Um, the central load of Tesla Giga Berlin is likely to be played by huge die casting machines, which the Italian Tesla supplier Idra calls Giga presses. Smaller versions of these um, machines are already being used by Tesla in production of Model Y uh, in the Fremont factory and supply to, to uh, and supply two large halls of the red frame, which the Model 3 still consists of around 70 individual parts. With new Giga presses, there are going to be just two parts mainly. Rare frame will be two parts. One of the new Giga presses was recently installed in Fremont and in Tesla's second new Giga factory building in China at Giga Shanghai. And for Tesla's German Giga factory in Grunheide, the Brandenburg 8 of these 100 ton machines are planned and they're now being unloaded in Giga Berlin. As Giga Berlin is still being in production, in construction, now, even if the entire building not finished, they already started the work of internal parts and we see that they are being unloaded already. According to Tesla Mac, there are eight die casting machines with a maximum operating capacity of 73.1 ton D per machine, says one of the thousands of pages of Tesla applications for the German Giga factory, Giga Berlin, which were officially laid out on the internet and documented by uh, some Twitter users. Otherwise, the process for die casting from he uh, heated aluminum is explained in, in, their, in the abstract of those documents. At other points, um, you can see that each of the Giga presses is to have a melting and holding furnace as well as a cooling tank as peripherals. You, uh, your product is there for large aluminum elements that have already been the bird at other uh, stations provided with holes and checked using an x-ray device. That's how the parts of uh, Tesla Model Y and Model 3 at Giga Berlin will be produced. Now, according to the 
information on the Tesla factories in Fremont and China, each of the new Giga presses is large enough to literally deliver the uh, flat rear section of the Model Y from single cast, which previously consisted of two halves. In the German application, four of them are closer together in a drawing with the auxiliary system in groups. All eight machines together make up almost two thirds of the entire casting area in the German Gigafactory. Now, like I said, these are huge machines. Already the reduction to two rare parts for the first Model Y from Fremont described Tesla boss Elon Musk in April as a revolution in production. In July, he said on Twitter that the Model Y from the German Gigafactory would actually finally bring about a revolution in the production of car bodies. His current statement in September before the construction site sounded similar. The Tesla CEO Elon Musk spoke of a radical change in the core technology for the construction of cars and a transformation in the core of the design of vehicle structure. All of this fits in with a patent from Tesla that became known in June 2029. It describes a system in which, for example, four casting machines together from the mold for at least one part of the vehicle frame and maybe even eject it in one piece. Automotive President Jerome Guyen of Tesla announced in the same month that Tesla wanted to build a huge, huge, very huge machine. When the first Giga presses were reported that year, many thought he meant them. But only one of them is apparently not enough for Tesla German Gigafactory Giga machine, it has to be eight or two times four, which means that's how Tesla, how many Tesla needs to produce its machines in Giga Berlin. Now, according to Wikipedia, Giga Press uh, presses are a series of aluminum die casting machines manufactured by Idro Group in Italy. Those are the ones that you are seeing brought to Giga Berlin. They are notable for being the largest high pressure die casting machines in the world with a clamping force of 55,000 to 65,000. 61,000 kilo, um, kilo newtons, that's the TF, kilo newtons. Initial usage of the customized uh, Gigapress was started by Tesla in late 2020s with production of the Tesla Model Y electric car rear chassis at the Tesla factory in Fremont, California. Shots of a molten aluminum weighting 80 kilograms are injected into the cold chamber casting mold with a velocity of 10, 10 meters per second. The cycle time is about 80 90 seconds, allowing an output rate of 40 to 45 completed castings per hour or 1000 castings per day. In July 2019, during the uh, GIFA 2019 industry trade show in Dusseldorf, contracts for a second gig press were signed, designed, and destined for an important Chinese located customer. I think that will be Tesla again. So maximum uh, 1000 castings per day. If it's two uh, casting machines, <clears throat> If it's two part rare, that means 500 Teslas per day. If it's one casting, uh, one uh, frame, one whole body frame, that means 1,000 um, casting uh, Tesla vehicles per day per machine. I don't know if it's per day or per shift. Now, as of 2015, Idra was one of the 10 most important strategic supplies of Tesla motors and with Tesla using purely die casting machines made by Idra for use of the factories in California. In 2016, Tesla ordered 3000 ton force press from Idra for making major car chassis components. Um, and that in 2018, a patent application assigned to Tesla showed four gigapress casting machines arranged at right angles for whole wheel unibody chassis casting. Now, since I said that these are coming now to Giga Berlin, when it comes to deployment, vacuum inside the closed mold is achieved using 4,000 liter tank made by Fondarex in Switzerland. As of June 2020, Tesla planned additional machinery 
factory to support each 6,100 ton force gigapress operation. Um, now, I talked about Fremont as of June, when it comes to Giga Berlin, as of July 2019, plans for the Tesla Giga Berlin factory in Brandenburg included provision and piling foundations for eight 6,100 ton force die casting machines. Tesla Model Y vehicles built at Giga Berlin will have a redesigned structure. European Model Y cars will use a, a front chassis mega casting in addition to the rear chassis mega casting. The first one, two Giga Press machines at Berlin will be required for the Model Y chassis production with the reminder uh, allowing flexibility in casting large numbers of parts quickly. The first two European Giga Press machines were planned to be delivered to Giga Berlin by the start of 2021, but we're seeing now although some of them being unloaded at Giga Berlin. Well, friends, let me know what your thoughts are on these developments at Giga Berlin and the casting machine. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you and see you soon.